So in our story, we were talking about how there's an offset balance of what a young woman has chosen to invest to help to feed someone who's in struggle in the kindness and loving care of her soul of maybe over the course of six interactions, possibly $30, because the homeless man who's more seasoned and mature about shopping has shared with her where she can go to buy, provide herself the best value for the dollar. Maybe that's Walmart, maybe that's Aldi's, maybe that's Ruler Foods, but most likely it's a dollar store or a dollar general. One of his face places, favorite places to find quality foods from Culver Valley brand, but he'll throw that out to just because it's his opinion and he has the right to do it. But what we're talking about is the offset dollar and the offset investment of $1,800 invested in time for 30 some dollars possibly of food to keep a man alive. But on top of that, we have to think about something else, that the older man has a handful of items that he doesn't need. And he's decided to provide those things to that young girl because of what she's shared about her needs, her desires, her fashion, and these sorts of things. So he's provided her a corduroy shirt that has a famous brand on it that probably would have been $30, $40 at the store. And it is used and it is slightly weathered. But still, if it's at a Goodwill store, it's one thing. But if it's at a secondhand store where it probably would be, it's another. So let's just put assign that piece of clothing a $20 value, even though it might have been new 50, 40 or 50 at the store. I can't say for sure, but I guess because I've provided plenty of clothing to a son in my life. At the same time, he's provided her a shirt, a wickaway shirt for her college and related shorts. Again, they are used. So even at the marvelousness of new, they might be $30 a piece, but in used form, they're probably about 10 because they have a brand name of a school she attends on them, despite their capabilities. Beyond that, he has provided her a thermal type shirt. That thermal shirt is definitely brand new, completely out of its bag, found in the trash, and openly just a little weathered by the rain that's been there, but that's a $30 shirt. So now we have on top of this value that she's already received another, say, $40 to $50. He also provided her a men's vest that would look pretty good on a girl because women do wear those things, and it's a suit coat vest from a popular brand of for young people at the college mall and it fits her perfectly she looks marvelous in it and she's already described how she's going to use it in some sort of upcoming wedding or up some upcoming date she's going on so that vest probably at the store was 30 to 50 dollars because things in that store tend to run that i know that because i've shopped there before so now we're up to what you see, a child of a college age isn't going to think about the time value that she's being gifted, and she's not going to think about the time value of what she spent going to the store shopping necessarily, but her hourly wage is not as high. She's accustomed to making a certain $10 to $12 an hour in her work, so that's what she's going to think about to the value of her time. So if we add in a few extra dollars, a few extra hours of the actually running to get that food, then we might add another $30 for that, $5 each time that she's gone out and picked that up and then slept it over here. We could add in the value of the gas, but today gas is a generosity thing when you're dealing with someone who's homeless. But if we still add it all up, if we still look at it all outright, the older man who's the mentor has already provided the mentee a hell of a lot value more than she's been provided or that she's provided back to him. Now, the value of the story to someone listening might be, okay, he's an asshole. He's adding it up. No, he's not. What he feels is that when people dehumanize an individual and don't think how important life is or how important relationships are, they devalue them to zero. So in order to take them away from the value of zero in someone's life, we have to remind them about the values they've received from that person in life. That if she had never met him, she'd probably never know to do a LinkedIn profile early. She'd also never know how to provide herself the right contact way with people she needs to connect with so that she might get a job someday. She didn't know any of that information before, so we can add some value to his time, I suppose, because of the knowledge, but people don't think about how they're paying for knowledge at college or at school. And this is an old lay professor of a different language, of a different type of capabilities, and that has some value. So if we're really trying to school someone and when they think about walking away from them, they should always think about what they're losing when they walk away.